Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Fitment Industries. And Claire from Fitment Industries. And Gels. And this episode uh, from the gallery is apparently sponsored by Starbucks Frappuccino. Um, today we are doing another episode of From the Gallery where we get to rate your cars. Now, if you guys don't remember, Gels, do you remember how they need to, if they want to be a part of the video, what they got to do? They got to upload their car to the gallery. Where? At fitmentindustries.com forward slash ad. This is for and, Jasper. Whoa, that was dangerously <laughs> close I know, to I'm my so face. I'm so sorry, that was a dangerous game. Yeah, uh -huh. And what do you have to do after that? And then you have to send an email to shop at Fitment Industries with review my car in the title and include the link. All Actually, right, so we're uh, going into the first car. Now you have to remember something that, uh, something that the, the people were saying is that they want us to make sure that we don't just rate everything seven. So you can get a little okay. bit angry, you know? I'm just okay. saying, I'm just giving you that context. Right. So we're gonna one start way off. Or the other. We're gonna start off with the 2008 Nissan 350Z. Sorry, we're good. You good? Yeah. All right, 2008 <laughs> Nissan 350Z on some Heritage Hokkaido. 19 by 11 and a half, negative 45, and negative 70 in the rear. Nanking NS20, 28530, and 30530 in the rear. It's on airlift. Looking sharp. First off, I'll tell you what I'm happy about. We have these wheels on the site now. We actually yeah. have Heritage on the site, so if you guys are interested in these wheels that are actually a little bit harder to get, feel free to send us an email, shopfitmentindustries.com. I'm pretty sure I could fit inside that wheel. That's a that's a big lip for front. Holy lord. <laughs> but but <laughs> like is it that. too big? Um is it I I think it's a little big for my taste because it almost makes the face of the wheels seem really teeny. tiny. Look yeah. at, and then the rear bump, like it can't cover the whole tire. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Gels? Um, I'm not sure what uh, fenders, over fenders he has on there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not a Rocket Bunny. Nope. It looks um, like it's some sort of just Nissan. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit just for how aggressive and wide the setup is. But then you got like the stock front and rear bumper on it. Yeah. I think the ducktail though, yeah. I like the yeah. ducktail. Um, I don't think every aggressive car needs a huge chassis mount wing. Um, but, but I could. Yeah. <laughs> but, but no, no. I think I think the ducktail is fine. Yeah. But I could see like maybe going with some like like I said, different front bumper, different yeah. rear bumper, maybe something on the side skirts, like just some uh, yes. just some panel skirts. Yeah. So something. this is King Il Zoku's. So thanks for dropping it into our gallery. Uh, one of the biggest things that I think is just a little weird about it is the arrow throughout the yeah. whole car. Yeah. It kind of stops at the at the front. It gets halfway, you know, the, the fenders are there, the duck, but like maybe seeing like a, a Saibon hood, you know, maybe seeing some carbon fiber side skirts, maybe a more aggressive front bumper, sure. yeah. maybe a diffuser splitter, all that sort of stuff, I think would really tie in yeah. the aggressiveness yeah. of the wheel it, fitment setup. I can sure. see where he's going, and yeah. I also like that duck bill too because it's a little different, but mm -hmm. it just looks a little like it's in mm -hmm. progress. Yep. Yeah. Like it hasn't just quite gotten there. And if it is in progress, well then you're right on For track. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are, those, are, that, those are like really expensive of yeah. steps that he's yeah. taken towards yeah. like towards building that car. <laughs> All right, so on three, we're gonna rate it. Ready? One, two, three, six. six. So we can't rate seven, now we're all gonna rate seven. Yeah, yeah. see, I wanted <laughs> to rate seven. That's it. I wanted to rate seven, but I'm like, ooh, I can't do that. And I yeah. rated it an eight because those wheels are really yeah. expensive the and I can wheels see where he's killer. going. Yeah, the, the, fit, the, the, the car is, is gonna be killer if right. it's in progress. It would just be cool to see just that that aggressiveness follow through mm -hmm. the whole car. For sure. So moving on, we have a 2016 Ford Mustang on some Rotiform RSEs, the wheel that looks good on pretty much any yeah. year make model ever in the history of the world, on some Delenti D7s, 255, 35 in the front, 275, 35 in the rear, airlift suspension. Mustangs are the most popular car right now on air suspension, in case you guys didn't know. Everybody gets mad, they're like, why do you keep doing air cars? It's like, we're not. There's just a lot of people <laughs> running air in the gallery now. Yep. So Claire, start it off, what do you think? Um, AGS550's Instagram, by the way, I don't wanna forget. I uh, I am not a fan of muscle cars on air. Oh, it's like she owns one. I, I just, it looks cool. Wrong. It's just. Oh my, are you gonna do that in every video we're no. together on? No, uh-uh. Okay, anyway, if that's what you like, cool. It, it looks cool, but that's just not my thing. I just think it could look a little more aggressive. Okay, Gels, what do you think? Um, I'd have to agree with you on the aggressiveness on it. Yes, the rotiforms do look really good on there. Not something I would go with personally. 
Sure. Yep. I like the car. I think it looks good on air. I think with Mustangs though, and the fact that a lot of them are now on air, it's almost made like the suspension bit about it almost like expected, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like seeing seeing a car, seeing a Mustang, especially on like coils or air, I feel like is almost like you do that now. Yep. Like right. you don't keep it you don't keep it stock. So I think it looks decent. I like, uh, you know, the Rotoform. They look good on everything. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's just, you know, in terms of going with the air and going with the things like that, usually you try to go with a wider battle arrow style yeah. look. Mm -hmm. And I'm not seeing that here just yet. I do see that he's got the tucked fitment in the front and a little bit of a flush fitment looking like in the rear. So he's getting that staggered yeah. setup. I think it looks really yeah. good. The fitment is really good. Yeah, it's it's like, sure. a, this is the car that I would like, I don't know. I'd, daily drive on the sunny days. It's like the car I would daily drive on sunny days, you know? Yeah. But, all right, let's rate it. So thank you for adding your car to the gallery as well. On three. I'm ready. Are you ready? No. Okay. Uh, on three. One, <laughs> two, three, five, five and a half. Whoa. Oh, no. denied. Moving what? forward. What? I just... 2004, you guys can drop a comment on what you think Claire was going to say after you subscribe because we're trying to get to 100,000. 2004 Subaru WRX on some work CR2Ps, 18 by nine and a half square setup, plus 23 offset on some Man Kangs, the most popular tire in the world, yep. NS2s. We are at 21535 BC Racing coilovers. Gels, you started off. This thing is crazy low to be static. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I noticed. Too. Um, He's almost got that fender galette that looks like He too. does, he's got yeah. that air, Air ride setup. His Instagram <laughs> is Rune WRX. Perfect. There you Perfect. go. What else do you want? <laughs> um, I think it looks really good on the Work CRP twos. Um, those wheels look amazing on those uh, year for Subarus. I think that um, it really works with that car. Um, looks like he's got it paint or wrap. I can't tell yeah, if it's like I a color it shift wrap looked, or. It's so tricky because a lot of people do wraps so well that it looks yeah. like paint. Yeah. I think it's painted. But it to me it looks like paint. It looks painful. But I dig the color. Yeah. Okay. I, I like it. I think it's like Jell said that it's static is a little ridiculous. To me, it definitely has that like Subaru esqueness to it though. So like one thing I always like about Subarus is that they always have that like a semi-aggressive front end just straight from the factory with the hood intake and things like that. Yep. The only thing that I'm not a super big fan of is like there are certain things that look like they were done very well and then there's a couple things that just look a little interesting. So like the side skirts I see it looks like it's just the polyurethane plastic. Mm -hmm. It's sure. not painted so it's not gloss oh. black, it's mm -hmm. not purple. So not a huge fan of that. And then the front lip is the same way. And then it looks like from one picture in the back you know, it looks like he's got some rear splitter stuff that he's doing, but it doesn't look like it's completely finessed yeah. in there yet. So it'd be cool to see what that'll look like at the end of that. Maybe duck bills on cars like this, I think look 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. So sure. to see it like tie up into the rear would be super cool. But yeah, I dig it. You can never go wrong with the CR2B. I'm just, you can't, I mean, ever. One, two, three, nine. Six five. and a half. Wow, we you are all nine? over the place. You really like that, don't you? Yeah, Damn, son. I do. I think it's crazy that he drives <laughs> it like that. Me and Alex are both like... Okay, you sure? Whoa. <laughs> you know in like a test, it gives you one final chance to change mm -hmm. your answer. Like, who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. Like, all right, all right. So your final well, there you go. That's my final answer. <laughs> Moving on, we have a 2015 Lexus GS350 on 305 Forged FT113s. 20 by 9 in the front, 20 by 10 and a half in the rear. 32 and 42 offset, respectively, on some Sumitomo HTR Z3s. 245 35s, 275-35s. <sighs> <laughs> on some swift springs. Holy moly, that's a lot to talk about. So I will start it off first. I think it looks good. Um, you know, the suspension, there's still a little bit of gap, but I mm -hmm. think in terms of if you're driving it every day, I'm comfortable with a little bit of wheel gap. I love the rear diffuser on the back. I love the fact that I'm pretty sure that's factory, which is super awesome. And then you've got the front splitter, the front lip as well, that looks good. All right, Claire, you go first. Um, I like it. It's very simple, very clean. I think it's very well done. Um, if it were my car personally, I just love aggressive look and aggressive stance. So, but if it's like a daily kind of thing, I think it's perfect. Jealous? So. I'd have to agree. I would have gone with bronze wheels though. I love yeah. bronze. I want to went with black. You're like a, you're like a man of like two sentences. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Should be brown. <laughs> <laughs> what do you rate it? Nine. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? I guess. Yes. Like, is that? Is that, is there more sentences going on inside or is that just, is that, is that it? It just, looks like there's uh, some stewing a little bit. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what's But Lexus is a good car. <laughs> Tid Usum. Tid Usum. That's his Instagram. We're going to rate his car on three. One, two, three. Five. five. Wow. 
So to just end her right here, last car of the day, we have a 2015 Scion TC on some Rotiform INDs, 18 by nine and a half plus 25s. Toyo Extenza HP, 225.40 on some Godspeed coils. Gels, take it away. <laughs> as far as the TC goes, um, I love the look of the first gens, um, like Mario's. I like that look. Um, I think what he did to his looks really clean. The second gen is just like, I don't know which way you should go with it. It could be a <laughs> Nissan pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, it's a Corolla. Toyota Corolla. <laughs> that is a Hyundai Genesis Coupe. <laughs> <laughs> they like squished it. Yeah. They're just like, what They're can like, we... I don't know yeah. what to do. It's just like from, from the different angles you look at it, it's like, it's like, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's it's very like curved in the front mm -hmm. and then it's boxy in the rear. Yeah, right, it's, it's all over the place. But it is interesting because I like to see these cars modified because yeah. they're different. Because sure. like everybody does the same thing all the time. Like you go out and you got all your Supers, you got all your mm -hmm. Mustangs, you got all that yeah. stuff. It's cool to see something different. And I always like it when people try different stuff, which is why I really like this car. You know, in terms of his fitment, it looks like he's getting real close. Um, in terms of if he was in air, he'd probably almost fender to lip. For sure. He looks like he's got a little bit of camber going on. It's a good looking car. You know, as always, it'd be cool to kind of see just a little bit more, you know, tie in of color from the front to the rear. But as somebody who has a license plate that says why scrape, oh I mean, my God. I think I you need to be a little that. bit loaded. I mean, I, no, I, I think lower. he's saying why, why scrape? Oh. Why would you scrape? I can just drive it low like this all the time and not scrape. Got it. Oh. You can get it. You let us know, Jordan, if we're even remotely correct. Yeah. You might ready be to vote? Totally wrong. Mm, there. I'll be ready to vote in like five seconds. Cool. Five. So we're going to vote <laughs> on three. One, two, three. Six. Six. Are you going to say, what are you going to say? Ready. I was going <laughs> to say four, but I didn't. <laughs> say it. Be a you can say it. That's okay. <laughs> So that's the, I mean, it's not every, it's that, there's I certain think. people that aren't gonna like cars, there's certain people that are gonna like cars. <laughs> As a whole, we respect all cars, but yeah. you know, if we have our own opinion on stuff, I mean, she drives a stock Camaro and he drives an FRS. I mean, stock right now, because we just freaking yeah, bought it. Yeah, okay. you're, you bought it like eight months ago. All right? It was not eight yeah, months yeah, ago. Whatever. Okay, oh, so those are our five cars for today for From the Gallery. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> you guys can actually drop a comment on what you think and what you'd like to see us talk about next, but if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We're trying to get to 100,000, and of course, if you're looking to add your car to the gallery, step one. At step one is to add your car to the gallery at fitmanindustries.com forward slash add. Send us an email at shop at fitmanindustries.com with review my car in the subject line and include your link to your gallery. I'm Alex from Fitman Industries. I'm Claire from Fitman Industries. Gels from Fitman Industries. And we'll see you later. Peace. Peace.